Hey guys, this is Austin. So this is the NES Classic, and for about 60 bucks, it's probably the best way of playing old school Nintendo games. Or is it? Because what I have in front of me right here is a $500 NES. This is the NT Mini, and when Analog offered to send it out, I couldn't say no. This is pretty much the exact opposite of what the NES Classic is, as this is a serious piece of machinery. The first thing that jumps out to me is just how solid it is. There's nothing wrong with the NES Classic. I really do think this is a nice little design, but it's pretty much plastic, and if you open one of these things up, there's not a whole lot going on inside. Whereas this is sort of the ultimate Nintendo, they have gone all out. Inside of the box, we have the NES 30 8-BitDo controller. Now, I've actually already done a video on this a few months ago, and I really liked it. Not only is it wireless, so you can use this little adapter to be able to plug it straight into the original NES cart slot, but besides that, it feels almost completely identical to an original NES controller. We also have a ton of power bricks and adapters for different countries, as well as some extra cables. So right here, we have HDMI. Just like the NES Classic, you can connect this to a modern TV via HDMI. However, because these guys are completely crazy, we also have VGA, component, S-video, and composite options. Because reasons. They really went all out with this. So there's support for the Famicom mic attachment, as well as the Famicom audio. You also have a USB port for charging the controller. And around the side, you can upgrade the firmware via SD card. Wait, wait, what? Oh, I didn't even realize. The bottom is like plexiglass. Wow, I actually kind of want to open this up just to see what's inside. What's interesting about this, unlike the NES Classic, is that while this supports software emulation, so it's essentially running like a low-powered smartphone chip to be able to do all of the emulation, this is running on an FPGA, which is essentially the original hardware from the NES. Now, they're really proud about the idea that it pretty much has no lag when you're playing games. Now, it's not exactly like there's a lot of lag when you're playing on the NES Classic, but these guys have really gone above and beyond to make the most authentic experience possible. The build quality on this thing is stupid good. Not only is it real aluminum, but with that acrylic window and they just went so over the top with this. I mean, you think about it. The NES is over 30 years old at this point and these guys engineered essentially the ultimate version for 2017. Now, one of the other big advantages over the classic is while this comes with 30 games, this doesn't come with any, but you actually do have the full NES cart slot as well as for the Famicom. So when you're ready to play a game, you just grab an original NES cart and it clicks right in, and that's pretty much it. This is ready to play. Once you get the NT Mini set up, it's pretty much an NES, but there are a few options. So there's a small menu here, and we have a few options like running the actual game, but a lot of the interesting stuff is in settings. So if you go into video, they have an insane number of options. So not only can we pick whatever kind of resolution we want, but we can also go and exactly change the height, the position, the width. I mean, they even have all the things for like scan lines, right? So if you want two, three, four X, original, like this is way, way more than anyone actually needs. So I'm doing the sort of basic way of playing right now, which is just using HDMI, and it's easy to get set up, but if you're really hardcore with this, you can use stuff like VGA out to really sort of get that analog input. Oh, look at that, look at that. Kirby Master right now. If you're a hardcore Nintendo fan, yeah, you'll probably appreciate some of these differences. And I do think that the ability to play all of your original NES games and not just those few that actually come on the NES Classic is cool. But this is for hardcore people. This is for people who want to spend $500 on the ultimate NES. It is crazy that this even exists at all. So no, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you should spend $500 on a Nintendo. However, I think anyone can appreciate the crazy level of detail that makes this even exist in 2017. So what do you guys think about the NT Mini? Let me know in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one.